El hechicero más importante de Marvel está de vuelta con esta segunda entrega que tiene esta vez como director a Sam Raimi, el hombre que estuvo a cargo de la primera trilogía de Spider-Man y con quien tuvimos la oportunidad de conversar sobre esta gran responsabilidad que esto supone para su carrera. Hello Sam, it's really nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I dare to say I personally consider uh, the first trilogy of Spider-Man as my favorite one. I have to say that. Wow. So, yeah. So I'm really excited to watch uh, your vision in this movie. So Thank how you. does it feel for you to be back directing a Marvel movie? It's wonderful. It's great to be working with Marvel. They really care about their characters. And um, there's a great fan base out there now very different than when I was making those Spider-Man movies. There's a fan base that's been following the superheroes and their stories and interactions, both with the Spider-Man movies and WandaVision and I guess the Avengers movies. So it's really a very different thing to come into it, to have this audience that's ready to see the next installment. I feel a lot of um, expectation, a lot of responsibility on my shoulders and um, it's exciting. Uno de los personajes más queridos de esta franquicia es Wong, el fiel compañero de Stephen Strange, quien prácticamente se ha venido encargando de guardarle las espaldas con respecto a las decisiones que toma. How is working with Benedict? I mean, because uh, on the movie you become such a great team. So, are you friends in real life? Are you a good team in real life either? Yeah, we're both, you know, I, mean, I, I knew Benedict pre-Sherlock, you know, uh, for he was just this uh, just this talented actor on stage, you know, and obviously he, he blew up into the stratosphere with uh, Sherlock and, uh, you know, he's uh, always on uh, the, one of the most super busiest guys uh, in the business. So, you know, it's good that we can pin him down and manage to film our scenes before he has to fly off again. But um, I, I uh, thank you for that. I do think we've uh, managed to cultivate a very good uh, relationship that is quite like they are the odd couple, the chalk and cheese, Wong being the wiser one, Strange being the wayward one, and uh, that, that, that lends to some really interesting uh, scenes, I think. The greatest threat to our universe. Speaking about all the visual part, um, uh, what was the most challenging thing for you to create this universe? I mean, especially speaking about the mirror uh, dimension. And do you have uh, any references? Probably, uh, I know the first uh, Doctor Strange movie, but probably, I don't know, I could think about uh, Nolan's Inception. <laughs> I don't know. Right, that's a great film. Um... Well, the thing that was the most challenging for us that we would put most of our effort into was in defining what the different universes would be like. We wanted to really take the ex uh, audience on the experience of traveling from our universe to another and another. So each universe had to have its own look. And how it has its own look is going back and saying, well, what is that civilization like? What's the culture like? Are they much more strict? Are they much more orderly? The buildings might have a representation that is more orderly. What do the textures look like? What do the colors look like? The wardrobe to reflect that more orderly society. So mm -hmm. we really had to, the toughest thing was in defining the look, the feel, the sound of each of these different universes so that the audience could really have the experience of moving through all these different places. What do you think about the fan service? I mean, do you think that probably their opinions are changing or somehow influencing on the plot of, of some MCU sagas? Yeah, I, uh, I don't, I, I, I'm, I'm not quite sure, but I mean, it's, it's, it's lovely that we have um, such dedicated, loyal fans and that the, the, the forums are so huge 
uh, and the, the the theories that they come up with. I mean, I think Marvel are, are, are real sort of uh, a king of the teasers. And each each time there's a little kind of snippet, people will freeze frame and have some theories of a shield they've seen or this or that, you know. So. Uh, We already talked about uh, the most challenging thing for you, but what was your favorite part? What part did you like the most? My favorite parts of directing this movie are when you get great actors like Benny Wong or Elizabeth Olsen and watching them really put everything they've got into the performance. Because you kind of get lost in the moment and then you say, oh, uh, yeah, uh, cut, cut because it, 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 they're such great actors that you know this scene is working when you forget your surroundings and its place in the story itself. You just get pulled into their reality and um, that, those are the most, most exciting times for a director. What can we expect from this movie? Well, it, it takes uh, place uh, straight, uh, pretty much if we think about what happened in One Division, and also the things that happened in No Way Home. The spell that I, uh, you know, vehemently told him not to, to cast a spell, and, and yeah. uh, uh, as an advantage for the, the fans, the fact that he did cast a spell, cracks uh, uh, appear in the parallel realities, and uh, all the trouble will seep out through these cracks and um, all roads lead to this film. Okay, Benedict, it's really nice to meet you. Thank you for your time today. Bye. See you, bye. Entonces ya lo saben, Stephen Strange, Wanda Maximoff, America Chavez y Wong los esperan en Doctor Strange en el multiverso de la locura el siguiente y esperadísimo episodio del universo cinematográfico de Marvel. Imperdible.